first of all, describe what speech and debate is. Uh, well, speech and debate is a competitive activity where we have students compete giving speeches or debating issues. Uh, it's been around a long time in America. Uh, Benjamin Franklin started debating societies way back in the 1700s. And uh, the competition for high school students has happened in America all the 20th century. Perfect. Can I help? I started debating in high school. And I kind of just got recruited by the debate coach in high school and uh, recruited me to be on the team. And, uh, debate is not something that a lot of kids start off high school wanting to do. So you normally have to kind of recruit them. <laughs> and I did it and ended up liking it. And I debated high school and college. Got a college scholarship to debate. And the end result was that uh, once I was married and had kids, we had our kids involved, and my wife and I began coaching the Minnesota Debate Club. But we had gone to a, uh, a tournament, it was a homeschool high school tournament in mm -hmm. Fresno. Uh, someone invited us to just to go and judge. And uh, it was kind of fun to go back and, and judge and be part of that again, because we'd not been involved in debate for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, judged, and then some of the people there said, gee, you should start a program in Modesto. And there were Fresno programs, San Jose programs, but none in Modesto. So first we said, we said no, but then after a while we thought, okay, we'll give it a shot. And so we started the Modesto Club 15 years ago. Uh, success stories, that, that's hard to know. Um, we don't keep track of all of our four, former students. Uh, but those we have kept track of, a lot have gone on to uh, careers in politics, careers in education. Uh, some have gone into ministry, uh, some have gone into social work. And you never know how much of the skill sets we give help them. But we do get letters and emails from former students that will say, wow, I was really helped by this. Uh, one particular young man who got at the Air Force Academy um, really went quite rapidly to the Air Force Academy and uh, uh, was recognized for some talents in giving speeches and presentations. And he was asked more than any other cadet, in his year anyway, to give speeches and presentations. Uh, even spoke at a luncheon where a bunch of generals were gathered. And he sent us an email saying the only reason he could do that was because of the speech and debate training. <laughs> And really the high school years are a time when it's easiest to learn. Uh, I think the average high school student, their minds are, are uh, more able to remember things and to train things. And habits, you, you make habits in the high school years that once you make a good habit, it'll stick with you. And so we want to train students to be able to research, to think about issues. And the average high school student does not care about public policy. You know, they're more worried about the prom or the dance or maybe the college they're going to get into. So most high school kids are not at all interested in what's happening in Libya or Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. But debaters become interested because they're going to compete, uh, they have to answer an opponent's arguments, and they want to win the competition, and so they become genuinely interested in public policy events. I think that's a great benefit for our young people. I think maybe as much positive impact on me as on the students, maybe more. Uh, it keeps me sharp, it keeps me interested in the issues, uh, I pay closer attention to the news than I would otherwise, probably, because my students are going to ask me about these news events. Uh, I think it's also just fun. I have a, a great time with it. So you learn about events. Each year's debate topic, I get to learn a whole new set of things. Uh, and besides, high school kids are more fun than people <laughs> that are my age. So I, I like doing that.